and this morning we have a very special guest on the phone. He's a stand-up comedian with a twist. His name is Uncle Nath. Good morning, mate. Hi, man. How are you doing? Yeah, good. How are you? Yeah, doing well. Nice. Thanks, uh, so you're a stand-up comedian. What, um, what got you into stand-up and where did you start? Uh, I guess I, I was, used to go into high schools and um, preach and stuff to uh, into school groups. and So I sort of worked out pretty early on. Yeah. when I was about 18, 19 that you, know, you had to sort of be a bit funny otherwise the kids wouldn't really care or want to listen you know so yeah it's a bit of a hard yeah, mark, started off just doing that yeah yeah, yeah. and then yeah, that's where it kind of started I just kept working on just trying to make it funnier make it funnier and uh, yeah that's how I sort of got into oh nice trying to make people laugh <laughs> yeah exactly what does it mean to be a Christian stand-up comedian though because um, like what kind of things do you guys talk about what do you talk about? Uh, well, I guess, I guess the main thing for a Christian comic, you, it gives you a real chance to sort of share your faith. You know, so you, you, even in a pub setting, if you're like making them laugh, and the pub's laughing, it's amazing what you can get away with talking yeah. about. You know, you can just about talk about anything. And yeah, so, and as well as that, Christian stand-ups, you know, we're not swearing, we're not doing like sexist or racist material and stuff like that. We're just doing clean stand-ups just straight up and down. Yeah, it's funny what, stuff, you know. Like, what, yeah. what keeps you going? Like, what gets you up in the bed in the morning to like do stand-up com- like comedy? Like, what do you enjoy about it the most? You reckon? Oh, I probably my favorite thing to do is just outreach services for churches. You know, like just being a being in a church and just letting the church just invite all their friends to church because there's a stand-up and they can go check out some clips and stuff and before they come. And I just love seeing just people who'd never go to church. Yeah. come to church and have a positive experience you know walk away hey I just hung out with a bunch of Christian guys at a church and we just laughed their guts up for an hour and <laughs> the you know time, that's yeah. just it's like how can, how, can, how can you hate that you know like how can you walk away going oh that Christians so sick of them with their laughter you know so it's like it's, oh, that's yeah. what I love doing the most that's my favourite thing to do oh and, nice uh, yeah so, oh, and um so what kind of reaction do you get um for your stand up comedian comedian Comedian, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess it depends, you know. Laughter is laughter, you know. Like, if I'm doing a church gig, or I'm doing a pub gig, or I'm doing a youth group, you know, funny is funny, you know. It, it yeah. sort of seems to just the same stuff that makes people laugh at a youth group makes people laugh in a pub. And yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just you get a sort of same reaction everywhere. And it's it's been good just sort of breaking down some of the stereotypes, you know, like just a lot of people haven't aren't used to seeing a Christian guy being like angry about stuff and annoyed by things and all the stuff that you rant about in, in a stand-up act. Um, they're not used to seeing that, you know, just, you know, the Christians aren't all like Ned Flanders, but exactly. they actually yeah, yeah. are just <laughs> normal people that get agitated. So yeah, it's really good and I mean the church saved my life man like when I, when I was 15 years old I dropped out of high school I hadn't been I had, couldn't get a job I could hardly read and write and you know I came from a broken family and um, nobody wanted me around man except the church they had a youth group on and they wanted us to come and yeah. and I made a decision to accept Jesus and you know it, it changed my life you know so I love the church I love trying to help the church because, you know, it's I think it's the story. church actually, it's, yeah, it saved my life. You know, I call the church my mother because when my own mother didn't want me around, the church, she mothered me, she raised me, and she gave me a future. And uh, so, yeah, I, I'm so down to try to help get young people just in contact with the church because for all the talk on social media about, you know, saving the world and doing this and hashtag that, the church actually does it. Just actually, just plain Jane goes and picks up the people that nobody wants and invites them into youth groups and includes them. And yeah, man, so I, I love the church. I, I'd be in prison if it wasn't for the church. You know, church saved my life. So. Yeah, it's a great um, place. And uh, you're in WA currently doing a little bit of a tour. Where Where are you visiting? Yeah, I've done a bunch of shows. I had an awesome show the other night at the Bathro Church of Christ, and uh, that was a hot show. That was a really fun time. And uh, I've got another show on tonight. Actually, all the all my dates are on my website, unclenates.com. Okay, There's a big yeah. show on tonight. It's 25 bucks. It's raising money for uh, the Ugandan 
Anthony, so the local church looked after. And um, that's on tonight. That's my last show before I scoot off. And um, tickets are on my website. Uh, details on my website. Okay, yeah. com. Yeah, so that's... Um, yeah, man, it's been fun visiting for us. I took my whole, brought my whole family over here. and um, We've been to the theme park. One of that terrifying roller coaster you go over time in the adventure world. What's that thing called? You go, it's, it's the abyss. The abyss. Yeah, yeah, abyss, yeah, because last time we went there, it was closed, but it's a really... Oh, my yeah, God. Go that's just it. too... That's too much. That's just too much. <laughs> I'm getting too old for the abyss. But, it was, yeah, it's been fun over here with the kids, having a bit of a holiday. And, um, yeah, but no, I'm sure yeah, you get asked this a lot, but what do you reckon is your favourite joke of all time? Um, I guess probably... I, I guess I had this dream as a kid to be a professional footballer. That was my dream. And I would have been a professional footballer too. It's just I had this problem where I wasn't any good. <laughs> it's probably one. There's <laughs> <laughs> other ones I like. <laughs> and so, and it, really was, it really was a dream of mine, actually, too. That was a dream. Play for the night. What's your, what's your team over here? What's your, what's your team? Are you, are you a Fremantle Dockers fan or a... West Coast Eagles fan. Oh, I, I'm West Coast West Coast fan. I'm a Hawthorne. Cool. <laughs> oh, Hawthorne, all right over there. Cool. Yeah, I'm from the Newcastle Knights. Oh, they yeah. they lose a lot. Yeah, they. Um and. Oh, it's cool, yeah. yeah. And before we let you go, uh, where can we? F- so you said that we could join. Um, look on your website, Uncle Nath. Is that right? Dot com. Yeah, Uncle Nath. Dot com, and I'm on Facebook as well. at Uncle Nath online. Yeah. And yeah, and I don't have a I don't have a Snapchat because um, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> but, but yeah, I'm not allowed to have that yet. I got Facebook because I'm forty. So. Yeah, okay, and cool. You can check it out. Uh, there. Yeah, thank you for thank you for being on air. Thank you for no, thinking about, because, yeah, thinking about it. Um, you can find out more about Uncle Nath at at his website, um, UncleNath.com.